Hi everyone, this is Shrinivas, Product Manager ITAM. We're excited to announce a new feature in Tokyo known as the ITAM Health Check. So let's get started on this. Configuring SAM can be complex and uh, customers and partners don't have best practice guidance on how to fix some of the common configuration issues in ITAM. So that is one of the needs of this feature. Once implementation partners and customers configure uh, complex licensing for products such as Microsoft SQL Server and Windows Server, they don't have any mechanism to determine the health score of these configurations. And let's say there, is, there are any issues discovered. There is no mechanism to assign tasks to team members to solve those issues. So this feature aims to solve all of this. So if you want to understand this feature in more detail, let's see this. So as you can see, this is the health check wherein we have got uh, all the details mentioned like sweet checks available, health check issues by priority, the health check score and the health check issues by category. This feature helps to accelerate time to value with proactive reporting on the configuration health of your software state. Thereby, it provides prescriptive guidance so that customers and partners can take remediation actions to correct these configuration issues. So that's in a nutshell what this feature is about. It would be provided as a store application and some of the features in detail are listed out here. It would provide configuration checks as per best practices for complex and important software products like Windows Server, SQL Server, Oracle DB Server, Office 365, and many more. It would highlight the configuration issues on SAM, such as issues with software model, issues with entitlement, issues with properties, as well as issues with discovery and provide recommendations to resolve those issues. It would provide management dashboards so that implementation partners and customers can get an overview of the configuration issues, get a score of the health check, and also determine the issues per category. As we discussed, it's a store app. These checks would be added more frequently. So we would have checks for Windows Server, SQL Server, Oracle DB Server, Office 365. In the future, we would have checks for CIS, System Center, and many other products. So as it's a store app, it's much more easier to release these checks more frequently. Multiple personas can use this application. So be it your SAM manager, SAM analyst, implementation partner, or even the support analyst can use this application to run a quick check on the configurations, determine issues, and get recommendations to resolve those issues. And finally, as the issues are discovered, you could assign these issues to team members through workflows so that they can take action on those and solve those issues completely. So that's in detail about the application. Now let's see a use case. The use case is that the SAM manager is verifying the Microsoft SAM configurations. So in this particular use case, the SAM implementation has been completed for Microsoft. Let's say it's completed for uh, Microsoft SQL Server, Windows Server. And now the SAM manager wants to check if the configurations are done as per the best practices of ServiceNow. So what the SAM manager can do is that they can run a health check just for Microsoft. And once a scan is initiated, ServiceNow is going to determine all the issues uh, and provide recommendations for those configurations. So these issues and recommendations to resolve those issues are presented in management dashboards. And once these issues and recommendations are showcased to the SAM manager or analyst, they can create tasks and assign those tasks as workflows to team members so that they can act on resolving the same. So that's the use case that we are going to see 
in the short demonstration now. So we have logged into ServiceNow SAM workspace. As you can see here that uh, I'm into the software set overview section. And I can see that the health check got completed. So uh, the health check can be run on demand or it can be scheduled. And once it's scheduled, it runs asynchronously. So you can get a notification when it's completed. So now let's move to the success portal. And in the success portal, you can see that I've got overview and health check and all the details about the same. I can see the sweet checks available. So these are the checks which will be added as part of the store. Right now we have got four checks for SQL Server, for Oracle DB Server, etc. And more will be added uh, as the uh, store app uh, is released with more configurations. You can see the health check issues by priority here. You can even see a health check score. Now this is important. It shows you the score of your health check configurations that you have done in the system. You can see the open issues per suite, the task by status. These are the tasks that have been assigned to individuals in your team so that they can act on those issues. And you can see the health check issues per category. You can see the issues on the software model, on the software entitlements and even discovery issues. I can in fact drill down into any of these subcategories and determine all the issues that have been reported under this particular category. As you can see here that all the issues uh, on that particular subcategory are reported here. Now I can move back to the suite checks available. I can drill down. And as I just said, that all the checks available are shown here, up here. Right now we have got checks for SQL Server, Windows Server, SaaS products. However, more will be added in the coming releases as it's a store app. Now I can go into SQL Server because it's one of the most uh, complex uh, softwares to configure in terms of licensing. And as a SAM manager, I would want to run uh, a SQL Server check to determine all the issues related to SQL Server. And you can see here that all these are the checks under the SQL Server suite. You can see that uh, there is this check for license metric. And I can just open it up and I can see the check which says uh, it's, it's a check on the license metric configurations. Uh, and there is a resolution detail provided with a documentation link, which points to the ServiceNow docs. And there's a condition for the same. So this check will be executed if I run the SQL Server suite check. And you can see there are checks for software assurance, missing relationships, and so on and so forth. Now, if I want to run the check, I can just execute the suite check and run it on the entire instance. And what ServiceNow uh, is doing is that it's checking all these configurations and mapping it to the best practices so that it can determine if the, if the configuration is accurate. And if it's not accurate, it will determine it as a finding so that the SAM manager can then act on that particular finding. So let's wait for it to finish. So this is finished now. I can go to the result and I can see the scan findings. So these are all the issues that have been reported. So you can see here that there has been issue reported on the, the CPU core count. And even the source is shown here. That means that there is some issue with discovery related to CPU count, core count, and so on. If I go further, I can see that there are more issues reported for the same. I can go further to see the other issues listed here. So for example, I can see that there is a Microsoft software assurance check. So let's first see what this check is about. This is about software assurance check in which, uh, you know, uh, the software assurance needs to be linked to the base entitlement. And if the linkage is not there to a valid base perpetual license, then that's an issue. And we have seen this in many customer instances where 
the software assurance entitlement is not linked to the base entitlement, which is uh, a wrong configuration. So that, that's been highlighted here. And uh, also the, uh, the actual record on which that issue is found is also highlighted here. So you can see here that in this particular entitlement, uh, there is no related entitlement. That means that it's not linked to the base entitlement. So that's found as, as an issue. And uh, you, could, you could see the, uh, the resolution details also mentioned here. In this uh, downgrade check, the check is that if there's any downgrades added to this entitlement. And you can see here that the, the record does not have any downgrades added. So all these uh, issues or findings are automatically uh, uh, brought to notice to the SAM manager so that they can act on the same. You can see here that there is a task section here. You can automatically uh, create a task and assign it to team members so that they can work on the same. So once uh, the task is completed uh, and the issue has been fixed, you can run the health check again which would improve your health check score um, uh, if the issue is, is fixed. And then you could take the necessary actions. So that is a, a very high level representation of this demonstration. Please let us know if there's any questions. Thank you.